okay say if you want uh, to draw just this wedge shape on top of this base if you have the base you have made the base in SOLIDWORKS and you want to make this shape as I show it here sorry uh, yeah this switch uh, the video shows how uh, to make it I also have shown how you can make how you can make wedges like this one in uh, uh, towards the left side of the uh, part or towards the right side or in different orientation this uh, has been delivered in the class this video is like more explanation on the same item uh, the main idea is that we want to draw a slope which is the whole slope or the whole uh, triangle it's uh, like uh, a wedge perpendicular to this uh, plane yes yeah? so what I do I just go to here new go to part extrude draw this one <coughs> so I draw the base assume uh, this is the size the proper size and say it's in millimeter this is uh, proper uh, thickness now we go to here okay so what I do I just choose this one and now I'm going to draw something here I want to extrude it okay so one way is that I look at here and I draw this base this base is actually the same size as uh, uh, the base that you can see here this is actually two times bigger than let me show it to you here so I, I'm going to draw something like this extrude it okay and later I make it into half cut through this part so I'm done so I actually made a wedge which is perpendicular to the plane of monitor yes or a triangle which is perpendicular to to the monitor did you get it yeah I'll go back to yeah here so what I do happy with the shape yes exit now just make it control 7 eyes of you make it say big so this is that part okay now I go to here perpendicular to this one and what I do I just make this triangle from here to here to here and then cut it through yes so I can do it the problem with this one is these edge are not line first of all I have to make the line out of it yes so I go to sketch and make a line starting from this end to this end this end to this end this end to this end okay So now I have this part, yeah. So I exit from here, and I say I want to extrude cut this part, this portion actually. This. this. Oops. Let me just. So I select that one, and I, I say blind. Blind means it goes up to the next level, which is this level, and done. Now I have made a triangle which is perpendicular to your part. So this is one way. Okay. Is there any other way? yes the other way is I go directly perpendicular to this <coughs> plane and draw the same rectangle triangle yes so I make it from the beginning a, a triangle similar to this one now say for example I want to draw another triangle which is uh, in opposite direction to this one okay say for example this one. done okay now just make it control 7 because it gives me better view and I ex uh, extrude it and it's done so this is the second way of making a wedge perpendicular to the uh, to your part the last type of wedge which is starting from here and go to the left or right okay how to do it I go to this plane see this is the plane that I will make my wedge so again I go perpendicular to this plane and here I will extrude a new triangle starting for example from here of course you can change the size yes you're happy with the size say yes control 7 uh, so. yeah this one this direction or this direction this direction 50 no 40 there you go sometimes no you want to start it from this plane which is not exactly the same as right plane so see here this is right plane but I want to start this triangle not exactly from right plane not exactly from here I want to start from here so I have to make a new 
explain how to do it so what I do I click on this one I go to refer reference geometry I make a new plane the new plane gonna be parallel to this plane okay and say it says do you want it 10 to be right I say no I want it 10 to be in the left side make it 20 okay okay so now what has happened I have made a new plane so I can look normal to the new plane and make another rectangle say for example I make it smaller this time so that okay that's fine this you, you can compare it I hope that it's uh, I could make it properly now if I exit from this one it should automatically so it says now from this plane do you want it 40 to say this direction yes see this one was started from here this one was started from here and these two because they were starting from the plane it was very very easy to work with them these are the hard ones so the hardest one is this one because uh, you don't have this plane first you have to make this plane look normal to this one and then stretch it good